grade teacher that really taught me that the first and best lesson is kindness. Um, when my mother uh, got divorced from my father and was going to move us uh, hundreds of miles away from everybody that we knew, I went to this teacher in tears and I said, I don't want to go and I don't want to leave you and leave all my friends. And she looked at me and she said, you know, Shanna, you're still my student and this is still your class and I'm still your teacher. And that kindness went deep into me and shaped the kind of teacher that I am. And it's always helped me to remember that that's really what stays. That that's kindness really is the first and best lesson and sort of the ground of whatever you teach. Unfortunately, one of the things that impacts my daily classroom is poverty um, and all of the things that come with poverty. Poverty in and of itself, when I say that word, is a distraction. It's because people just kind of think, oh, it's just this giant thing and what can you do? But I think that the more that we look at the concrete sort of challenges that come with poverty, the more we can address those. So I try to make people aware of the fact that poverty means myriad things. It means that that maybe um, a child didn't have access to health care and uh, at an early age and so an uh, ear infection ruptured an eardrum and so they cannot hear. It may also mean that students don't get enough sleep because they're having to leave in the middle of the night because their family can't pay the rent. If we can make poverty concrete, we have a much better chance of, of addressing that problem and helping each of those children to succeed and graduate and be successful.